I've been lying to you. My name is a cookie god, and I don't even own any cookies in my hardcore world. Yeah, I'm a fraud. So today, I'm going to attempt to craft over 1 million cookies and be an actual god of cookies. So let's just start with this. Yeah, our first 16 cookies crafted. Now I'm a whopping 0.00016% there to farming 1 million cookies. So I've actually attempted this before in a video for 100 days, and I failed pretty miserably by crafting only 170,000 cookies. Cookies. But this time we're doing it in our hardcore world, so it should be easier, right? Let's just start by checking all of my chests. This feels like I'm digging through my jean pockets for change right now. <laughs> and all I found was 29 more cookies. Yeah, I'm an actual fraud. But trust me, by the end of this, we're going to have over 1 million cookies to our name. I just need to find a place to store all 1 million cookies. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have a great idea. Where's a better place to store all of my cookies in my hardcore world than here? On top of my giant cookie build. It's crazy how real this looks. So if I want to store over 1 million cookies, I need 290 double chests, which comes out to 18 stacks of logs. Luckily, I have my wood factory. So let's come in here out and grab some wood. Um, nice. That That is not 18 stacks. Um... All right, it's official. I am broke. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure I have a ton of jungle wood in here. Um, oh, yeah. Let's grab a bunch of these and craft hundreds of chests. There we go. So if my calculations are correct, nine stacks of chests should be able to hold one million items. So now we just got to place them all down. This is going to be so painful. And there we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. All of these chests right here carry a total of over 1 million items. So I thought I would section them out. So every single cube you see here holds 100,000 items. And I built 10 of them. So that way I can keep track very easily on how many cookies I have. And let's just start by putting in my 45 cookies inside one chest. We, we have a lot more to go. And now let's first start on our first method of crafting cookies, which is obviously just harvesting wheat from my really dinky poopy farm that I built on my first episode and never ever replanted. And same thing for my cocoa bean farm. <laughs> and with these ingredients, I can craft myself uh, three stacks and 56 cookies. Yeah, that that isn't a lot. And now I have a completely wrecked cocoa bean farm and an embarrassment to humanity wheat farm. So I spent the next hour harvesting cocoa beans and wheat to craft myself as many cookies as possible. And using the basic method of crafting cookies, I managed to craft just under two double chests, which isn't too bad for one hour, making my total amount of cookies 6,493. But let's move on to the next way, which is actually just crafting with villagers. This is the best proven way to get cookies. I learned this the hard way in my 100 days video because it took me up to day 59 to start trading with villagers. And one hour in, I'm already halfway through the amount of cookies I had in that video. So these guys are the keys to crafting over 1 million cookies. Just these simple looking villagers. So we're going to need a new area to build a massive villager breeder and villager trading halls, which uh, I'm kind of running out of room. Um, maybe, maybe just in the savannah biome. So let's get started on terraforming this entire place. That way we can actually put this ugly biome to use. And there we go. This already makes the savannah biome look so much better. Just having it cleaned out and flat. And let's grab a bunch of materials to build myself a villager breeder. <laughs> Alrighty, let's head over here ugh, and start building the outline like this. And right here in this little corner, I'm going to put a redstone torch right here with some rails going up and the dispenser right here with a minecart in it. And this will help me grab villagers out of the breeder very easily into their trading hall. All right, now let's section this area off and this will be where the beds are. So now let's start filling everything in. Now we just need to grab some farming stuff. Um, bruh, okay, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. And let's plant them inside the farm. All right. Now, which one of you guys can I steal? Um, can I steal your son, sir? Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> he's not happy. <laughs> he's chasing me. Oh my God. He just grew up in the boat. I don't know if I caught that on camera, but this guy turned into a full grown adult just living on a boat. Let's build this little contraption here. That way it will be easier to move this villager up. Um, oh wait, it just sank my boat. You know what? This is actually perfect that he grew up. Now I can just have him follow me by placing a job down. The composter is candy. The composter is candy. I'm not hypnotized 
surprising you. The composter is, in fact, candy. Oh, yes, you found it. All right, let's trap him in. Now we'll just need one more. And you know what? Since his dad is so concerned, I'm going to take his father with him. I'm not kidnapping you. I'm taking you to your son. Go meet your son. He's full grown and adulty. He's already off to college. <laughs> Here is some food and go have some babies with your own. Wait. Wait a second. That's a father and his son. And I just gave him a bunch of food and beds. Uh oh. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away and pretend I did not do that. I am not liable to whatever happens here. Oh my. Yeah. Once this guy grows up, he's gonna be lifted into here and swim into this corner. And then I can click this button and the minecart should be able to take him right out of the villager breeder and right into his new home, which will be the villager trading hall. So let's build a massive one right over here. Because I'm gonna need a ton of villagers to trade with if I want to craft myself over a million cookies within this episode. But yeah, I did build this wrong. Gosh darn it, dude. Ah, I'm so dumb. There we go. I tried making this look super clean with some glass. But now let's grab all my composters and put the jobs right in front of these pistons here. Now let's build out. Whoops. Let's build a temporary little wall right here in front of every single pod and break the glass right on top of it. Now, how many villagers do I have? I have one. Um... And that's it. Wow, I really thought I would have more villagers, bruh. Well, since I don't have enough villagers and it is turning nighttime, let's grab myself a zombie. Let's walk inside here. Let me just scoop on you. Oh, and close you up. And let's call you Zomzom. -Zom. Wait, 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 wait. Is he gonna burn? Did my zombie already died? I forgot. I... Oh, I think he died. I forgot you can't have glass on top or he dies from the sun. All right, let's build a little rooftop over this glass platform here. And uh, let's wait until night again. There we go. Okay, let's grab another zombie. Honestly, I might need two zombies because this villager trading hall is so long. All right, they're inside. Let's close it off. And let's name this guy ZomZom2 and ZomZom3. Oh, Oh, oh. Now I just need these villagers to breed faster. Maybe I can get them more carrots. I'll be right back. And after countless days and nights and over six hours of AFKing, I finally managed to get... Are they all full? Oh my god. But I'm still gonna need a little more babies from you guys. Oh yeah, I already get cookies from these guys. So there we go. We added a few more cookies to our challenge. And hopefully they start popping out more babies. Before I start trading with all of these villagers though, let's expand this platform just a little bit. So I have space to walk and make some business deals. Luckily for me, I do have this giant automatic farm over here with a bunch of villagers working for me that will supply me with a ton of beetroot that I need, a ton of carrots, and patatties. And let's start trading with these guys. Uh, what do you want? You want potatoes? I got you, man. All right, now let's use some emeralds to trade for some pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah! Two emeralds for 18 cookies. We just need to unlock this trade for all of the rest of these guys. And I'm already out of emeralds. I do have a solution for that, though. Instead of trading villagers for emeralds, I love Luckily, have this raid farm over here that supplies me with unlimited emeralds. Oh, yeah. And after trading with all of these villagers to unlock the cookie trade, I'm finally ready to become an actual god of cookies. So all of these villagers are trading two emeralds for 18 cookies, which means if I trade with these villagers to get a million cookies, I'm going to need over 100,000 emeralds. But if I turn all of these zombies into some zombie villagers... Oh, here we go. Ugh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, I don't have a block over that. But if I turn all of these villagers into zombie villagers, then cure them with a weakness potion and a golden apple, I should get a discount from two emeralds to one emerald for 18 cookies, which means I only need about 50,000 emeralds or about 860 stacks. Okay, let's put a little roof on top of the villagers so I don't make the same mistake. Now it's time. I'm sorry, villagers, but uh... It's time. It's for the better cause of humanity. We need a million cookies. What the? This guy just came with armor. All right, let's continue infecting all of these villagers for cheaper cookie trades. Why are these zombies so dumb? Like, I literally come here and lure them over to the free food. It's like a McDonald's meal. Just had it on a plate. Now eat. Yeah. And that is all the villagers turned into zombies. Now we just need some weakness potions and some golden apples. And I know what you're thinking. We're already a few minutes into the video and we only have 6,500 cookies, which isn't a lot. But right now we're doing off the preparation. And once everything is ready, we're going to skyrocket to a million cookies. Source, trust me, bro. Oh yeah, finally. Let's grab all of these weakness potions. Let's do it on these guys. Have some golden apples and give me good trades. And now let's wait for all of these guys to be cured. Oh yeah. All right, what kind of trades is it? Yes, one emerald for 18 cookies. It doesn't seem like much, but it cuts my entire spending by half. 
So it's finally time. Let's head up to my raid farm over here. Let's grab all of my emeralds. Now using all of these emeralds, let's start trading for cookies. Yeah, give me all of them cookies. There we go. A full inventory. Nah, psych. Including three shulker boxes, which makes a total of 6,744 more cookies. Well, let's grab all of these cookies and let's bring it over here to my giant storage room. Let's fill up all of these chests. We almost have an entire row of double chests of cookies fully filled. I, I just have a a lot more to go. The only thing I'm worried about is that they're gonna get sick of trading with me and stop giving me this trade. So I might have to do like occasional other trades to make these guys happy. But now I spent the next little bit using the remaining nine stacks of emeralds trading for cookies. And this was a grind. And with all of those emeralds, that got me 9,630 more cookies. But let's go ahead and let's fill them up. We officially have over 22,000 cookies. And that is only this much. I, I still have all of these chests to go. <laughs> well, I'm already out of emeralds. Let's head up to my raid farm up here and let's start grinding some emeralds. Ow, I just busted a hole in my head. Um, Oh, wait, I need the bad omen effect. Whoops. Let's go find myself a ray tower. Where's the dude with the giant forehead and the sign is ahead? I can sniff him. <sighs> That, that might just be myself. I haven't showered in like 19 days. And after wiping out generations of pillagers, I finally got him. Oh, there he is. Yes, I'm the captain now. Yeah. All right, let's head home. So yeah, it should push me right into here. This trapdoor should drop any second now. So how, how are your guys' day going? Mine was going pretty good. Oh, there we go. Okay, I fell. Please don't die. Oh, yeah. Okay, I started a raid. Oh, wait, it actually still works. I'm a genius. All right. I remember I just got to keep clicking right into this little post. I don't hear any pillagers. Why didn't anything spawn up here? Oh, I just realized I, I, I started the raid down here. I feel like building this giant cookie underneath my raid farm was a bad idea. All of the raid dudes spawn down here now instead of where it should be. No. Okay, let me kill all of these guys and finish the raid. And try to fix my raid farm. Finally, that was such a big waste of time, that raid. And it only got me 15 emeralds. Winning that raid did give me Hero of the Village effect, which would lower the trades for these villagers, but they're already at one. So it's kind of pointless. But the way I'm going to try to fix this raid tower is by completely flooding the cookie down here. I think this is the only way. I'm pretty sure a raid cannot happen on top of water. Hopefully it fixes it. And there we go. Have you guys ever seen a water cookie? It's a new flavor that came out in Canada. So uh, let's go all the way back to that raid tower to get the bad omen effect all right and let's pray this works this time let's head right into here okay i'm going down the raid should start i don't see any movement up there i flooded this entire place dude i put down so much water <gasps> okay i defeated the raid and i literally covered the entire cookie it actually looks kind of cool i'm not gonna lie all right let's give this another try the third time's the charm right let's head into the farm the bad omen effect i'm inside the farm and the entire cookie below me is covered up in water all right, I'm going down. All right, I got the raid, and it should only spawn up there. Please, hear noises. I see a little bit of movement up there. Oh, yes, I fixed it. Oh, I'm so relieved, guys. Everything you just saw right there was probably a few minutes for you, but it was like two, three hours for me. Let's AFK this for like an hour, just grinding emeralds so I can craft a million cookies. Please subscribe, because that was so painful. So after one full hour of grinding the raid farm, I ended up getting a ton of emeralds. Like, like that is a lot. But while I was AFK, king it stopped working i was like what happened I, I covered the entire cookie where else would they ever spawn well i came back to my computer and look raid is down here on a cookie again you might wonder where's the raid bro look at this all of them are on one singular block how is this even possible minecraft dude i hate these guys so much all right it's been another hour and let's see how many more emeralds i got let's check the chest and oh my god that <laughs> do i have any more holy cow that is a lot of emeralds it's bright early in the day the sun is rising so let's see how many cookies i can craft by the end of this entire day drop some guesses down below one entire minecraft day is about 10 minutes so let's see what we can accomplish that is seven entire shulker boxes full of cookies and uh almost a half which is a total of 12,744 more cookies let's head over to my giant flooded cookie and fill up these chests making a grand total of 35,611 which sounds like a lot but we're only three percent there to getting one million cookies oh my god so if i want to farm a million cookies in this video i'm gonna need a lot more villagers because these guys just aren't cutting it so i still have seven more pods to fill up with villagers and by the looks of it these guys are producing one villager per like 90 years 
years. So I think I'm going to try to expand this villager breeder by just adding more beds and more villagers to produce babies with. There we go. Hopefully this works. I just extended everything over to the right just a few blocks, but I am too lazy to get two more villagers into here. So I think I'm going to cover up these holes so the baby villagers don't like get swept away. And um, I want them to breed in here. So let's grab a few beds. Let's replace some of this crop farm with the new beds. And hopefully this will encourage them to make more babies. Oh yeah, they're already making love. And oh yeah, they already popped out a baby. All right. And there is one extra bed, so they should be making another baby soon. All right, we got four four villagers. That's nice. Let's grab these beds now because they don't need it. You guys will never be sleeping again and place the beds back over in this side. And I'm just going to wait for these guys to grow so they can't fall through this little crack. And once they do, I'm going to AFK for like an hour so we can fill up this entire villager trading hall and then have enough for the next one. I'll be right back. Now that we have all these villagers jumping for joy and totally not trying to get to bed, let's break these so they can have kids and they will fall into this little hole. Let's craft two more beds. Let's place them down right over here. I'm going to need to expand the farm once more. Let's get Give them more carrots and make babies, guys. I'll be waiting, but in the meantime, let's craft some more cookies because I really need to speed things up if I want to get a million cookies. I'm really far off. And there is another 15,000 cookies added, but that makes our grand total just under 51,000, which is not very impressive. So I grabbed all of the remaining emeralds and started trading for hours and hours, grinding day and night until we get 100,000 cookies. Yeah, all of these chests are now full of cookies, meaning we have finally reached 10 percent of the 1 million cookies I want to get. Let's finally move on to this side. Start filling up all of these chests because they are still empty and dusty. All right, guys, I need you guys to find some jobs all the way down there. Yep, listen to Papa. And after a little bit of time, I finally managed to fill up every single one of these pods. So let's go grab all of my crops, start trading to unlock the cookies. All right, there we go. They got the cookie trade and now let's turn them into zombies. Then cure them for a discount. And there we go. The entire villager trading hall is finally filled up. But I am completely out of emeralds. Oh, wait. You didn't see that. So I'm going to spend the next few hours just grinding this raid farm. Because, yeah, I, I am broke now. I have nine emeralds to my name. All right, let's start killing some pillagers. Now, with almost two full double chests of emeralds, let's start grinding even more cookies. After exhausting over three double chests and a little bit, I finally managed to reach just uh, 200,000 cookies. But that only makes these two sections of chests full of cookies. I still have eight more sections to go. So let's start grinding again to fill up the third section. So that means more emeralds, more trading with villagers, more sleeping, more trading, more trading until we're done. With all of these giant sections of chests all filled with cookies and my entire inventory, that makes a total of 302 2656. I almost forgot how to count and read numbers. <laughs> All right, let's throw these into the fourth chest and just start grinding again. Here's a quick replay mod of me just grinding for an hour. And now 400,000 cookies. We are so close to being halfway there. We're only 40% away. But there's one thing I need to improve with everything that I'm doing. And that is I need more villagers to trade with. I'm starting to realize that it's kind of slow just having a limited number of villagers. Although it works and it's super cheap, I do have all of these guys that I've been breeding behind the scenes. Let's expand this so we have more room. Now I need a ton of beds. How many villagers do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, whatever. Let's just craft a ton. All right. Let's line up this entire area with beds. Oh yeah, that is one wide bed. Now let's grab a ton of carrots and let's set these villagers free. Still a prison, but oh my God, look at them. Look at them swarm the beds. <laughs> oh yeah, they're already coming out. There's love in the air today, except for me. Maybe some diabetes from all the cookies I'm going to be eating. But I still feel like this isn't enough. So bam. Oh yeah. Okay, but I just realized having a giant pod of villagers here, it's going to be really hard to build a villager breeder because they're just going to wander around here and not move to their trading home. So um, maybe I just make this giant area a trading area. It'll be way more disorganized, but it might just work. Let's place down all of the composters right here and let's let them in. It's going to be really hard making sure all of these guys have the correct trades, but you know what? Messy might be the way. And these guys are sitting inside their composters now. Get out. 
stop you guys are being weird like it's so not cool to do that at all <laughs> look at these villagers and nod their head at me well let's start trading with all of these villagers to unlock the cookie trade because i'm kind of just wasting time having fun okay after a ton of training i'm pretty sure i got all of the adult villagers to the cookie trade the only problem is there are a ton of little babies running around and they're soon gonna grow up and take even more jobs so this is gonna be really hard to organize oh my god there's so many villagers. Most of them don't even have jobs. Let's start trading with the villagers that don't have the cookie trade yet and go from there because I don't really know what to do with all of these guys. This looks so, so weird. What is going on with the apples? <laughs> Minecraft fix your game, please. Anyways, all of these villagers now that are farmers should have the cookie trade. They're selling 18 cookies for three emeralds instead of the discounted one over here. So I think you guys know what that means. Let's wait until night and let's do this. I'm so sorry. Oh my, don't attack me. Get in there. Oh, wait, there's iron golems in there. All right, he just killed all of my zombies. Let's kill all the iron golems inside and I need another zombie somewhere. We're running out of time. Follow me. It's gonna be a feast. Oh my God. Let's go zombies. Why are you guys focused on me? There's all of these villagers to eat. Come on, zombie. Oh, all right. That didn't work. Hey, I managed to get a bunch of zombies in there and they're still chasing after me. Why? I, I f literally flew. Okay, let me fly out of the chunk. Okay, there we go. I see some zombies attacking the villagers. Oh no, the sun is coming out. This is not good. Oh, give me all the blocks. No, there's no way I can cover all of these in time. No, don't die, please. Come under the platform, please. Oh my God. And there's an iron golem right here. You know what? I think this was a failed experiment. All right, take two. I built a platform and I built a little barrier on this wall so the iron golems can't get to the villagers and come on in. Hey, I got some more glass because I heard if you cover yourself in glass that the zombies kind of stop targeting you and they'll target the villagers instead because they can't see through glass. Oh my god, it worked! Yeah! Infect all of the villagers! Oh my god. Look how crazy this is. They want me so bad. <laughs> I'm like a rock star musician now. All of these girls just chasing me around and just... Oh no! No, 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 no. This cannot be happening. No, no, no. Oh, what the heck? How do you shoot me back? How did an iron golem even spawn? Okay, I need to start curing these guys fast. I just gotta make sure all of them have the weakness effect. Let's grab my golden apples and start curing all of them. Literally playing ring around the rosy right now. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. I just gotta keep them distracted on me as those villagers stay alive. Hopefully it works. Yeah! They're all back! That was the most stressful. That guy just threw his pants before getting into bed. <laughs> that was the most stressful thing I've ever done. Now, all of their trades should be one emerald for 18 cookies. Oh my god. The only issue is I'm completely out of emeralds again. Let's whip out my sword and continue grinding the raid farm. I'll see you guys in a few hours. <laughs> there we go. Unlimited emeralds. It, feel, it feels good. <laughs> well, let's finally start trading with these villagers again. I have literally like a hundred of them all willing to trade 18 cookies for one emerald. And with these final shulker boxes, where am I? Right here. Oh, over here. I can officially say I am halfway there. That requires something special. And you know what that is? A snack break. Grab some water, hydrate yourself, and let's go right back grinding some cookies again. I bet you haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> and after I hit half a million cookies, I was motivated. I grinded all the way until 600,000, but that didn't stop me. All of these chests are full. I was way too lazy to fly back to my cookie. So I filled up all of these chests and all of these choker boxes. I'm, I'm completely out of emeralds now, but I'm motivated to keep going because I'm on a mission. All right, let's throw in the remaining cookies in my sugar boxes. We're getting pretty close to the end. Now we have a total of 750,720 cookies. I don't even know if I said that right. My brain can't count numbers this high. Math, math is hard. And since I've been using these white shulker boxes the entire time, I kind of want, I kind of want to change it up a little bit and fit the theme of this video. And I'm going to change them out for some orange ones. I'm out of emeralds again. I'm going to have to go grind some. It's the same exact process that you've been watching. All right, I'm back. But this time, let's see how fast I got at trading. Let's start the clock right now and in one hour let's see how many thousands of cookies i can craft and after 
through one full hour of just straight grinding and being super focused, no, no distractions at all, I filled up every single one of these chests, like every single one here, which is 44 double chests of cookies and all of these choker boxes. I, mi I missed a few right here, but that that is a lot of cookies. But with all of these cookies that I got in one hour, it was a total of 183,168 cookies, which is unreal, which brings our grand total to a whopping 933,888 cookies. All we need left is less than 70,000 cookies, which is about this many chests. So we're getting super close to finishing. I basically need to do this one last time. I just need to kill one more of these guys uh, and grind for emeralds one last time because I have zero. I have used over 50,000 emeralds already. Let's grab the emeralds I got and this will be the final time I'll be doing this. And let's keep going. Let's trade with these villagers one last time. And soon we're going to reach our goal. These villagers are just chucking me cookies. What the heck? They already know what's going to happen. <laughs> And with all of these choker boxes, we finally have over 1 million cookies. Every single one of these chests are full of cookies. Coming to a total of 1,002,240 individual cookies in my hardcore world. I am officially a cookie god. I didn't include all the cookies in my inventory yet. And I feel like I have some in here. I don't think I moved them yet. Oh my god, I do. I am the god of cookies and subscribe to be a part of the cookie army. Now I'll see you guys later. I got, I got a few cookies to eat. See you later. Ow. Okay.